I want to show you a comparison of the bus bars between the the two different uh, battery racks that I got from Signature Solar. I don't know what version or how many versions of these battery racks they have. I purchased this rack in uh, January, I think, of 2022. This rack, probably in the spring of 2022. And this rack, um, in December of 2022. Now, I bought these when they were on sale, so I, I you know, the rack was free with the purchase of the batteries but uh they're a little bit different i know an earlier version they had was like this but had the door and they had a version that had the door without the little wire way around the bus bar this newer version doesn't have the wire way around the bus bar and the bus bar is just copper and not copper plated but the biggest difference that i'm seeing in these in addition to the difference in the lugs the bigger lugs for the cables to connect to the um, jumper cables not jumper cables but the battery supply cables going back to the inverter is that uh this bus bar doesn't have all those big lugs. And I'm gonna show you something on that bus bar here in just a minute. This this is energized. I'm fixing to disconnect battery 14 and charge it separately, but I want you to see this difference. This bus bar is on. But you see that, that hole right there? That's where this jumper will go. I'm gonna turn this battery off. That's where I'll connect this jumper and that's threaded into the copper bus. So that's a big difference from the bus bar we're going to look at in just a minute. Now you have to be careful with copper and that you don't over torque the copper because you can gall copper, you can strip it out easier than steel. But that whole bar, including the threads, are conductive. And I'll show you the other one after I hook this up and move over to the other battery. All right, this is what I want to show you on this, this new rack that I bought in December. If you look at that bus bar, it's the same size bus bar. It's, it's not tin or it's not plated. It's just copper. But you see that metal rivet th uh, threaded insert? See how big it is? How far across? How much space of, uh, or how much of the bus bar that had to be removed to put that in for a boat that's really small? And also, it's the same on this other side. That hole, that threaded hole right there, is wider than this uh, than this lug. If you'll look at this lug, it's actually deformed a little bit from being tightened down in there. I don't know if you can tell, but that light's on there. I don't, I won't, I won't do it just, okay, let's see. See the little curves on it there? That's the outline of the bus, of that uh, threaded insert. So the only part of this lug that's touching that bus is the very back. You see where the curve is there? That's on the that's where the bus bar has been drilled out. So hardly any of this lug is touching the bus bar. Only a very little bit. So I think that's a I think it's a poor design, to tell you the truth. 